Today, for some stupid reason, I decided to go into a spider boss arena and have just the worst time. But more importantly, we're finally getting into the supercomputers. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Satisfactory. Where for the last little while we've been really focusing on like decorating, building our weapons factory, and for lack of a better word, just memeing around. But starting today, we are going to start moving towards one of our final objectives. Automating supercomputers. But before we begin, I have been collecting a ton of these hard drives. And since Quartz is in the game now, I'm going to presume there are some really important alternate recipes that we can research to help us make supercomputers. So we're going to see what's up with that. So what do we got in number one? Oh. My. God. Two. Inputs? For a computer? Well, already the entire script is flipped. Half the factory is getting destroyed. That's incredible. Easily done. Like, look at this madness. An assembler that can make computers 6.25 per minute. Oh, that's like our whole production upstairs with three manufacturers. And all it needs are some circuit boards and oscillators. Circuit boards, easy to produce. What about the crystal oscillators? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Why aren't they in the assembler? Oh, nice meme, game. Nice meme. They're in the manufacturer, so we're still gonna need manufacturers for our factory. Or will we? Ho 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 what if there's an alternate recipe? Alright, anything spicy this time? Enriched coal. Alternate recipe? What is that supposed to even mean? A much more efficient alternative for coal used as fuel for vehicles are coal generators. Interesting. We don't need another Nobelisk recipe. So you know what? We're just going to get the inflated pocket dimension. Easily done. Cool. And although the extra inventory space is nice, it's not exactly what we need right now. And also, oh my goodness, before I research more hard drives, I guess we should research the supercomputer, just in case there's an alternate recipe for that. So here we go, guys. We're finally making our first supercomputers. And now, finally, you guys can stop asking me in the comments to research this. There you go. I'm on it. And now I can finally see what all the hype's been about with these supercomputers. So, there we go. What do we got? Anything? New technologies have been developed based on this new element, primarily in power and electronics, and can now be accessed in Hub Tier 6. Power and electronics. What do you, what do you mean by that? Let's see, advanced Caterium electronics. What is that? You can set rules for each output to decide exactly where each part should go? Wait, I thought that's supposed to be a smart splitter. Oh wait, so the smart splitter only lets you choose the left and right. Whereas this one you can choose all of the directions. Oh, okay. Then geothermal generator. And geysers, okay. Sounds like free power. And a new power pole that lets you have up to 10 connections. Man, oh man, that's gonna be some wild wire spaghetti. And here we go. New technology unlocked. Increasingly advanced use of Caterium applied. Geothermal power sources can be found and used as a more stable supply of power. Programmable splitters with unlimited filters can be constructed along with improved power poles. Wait, unlimited filters? What do you mean unlimited? What is that supposed to mean? They need supercomputers to build what? Man, these things better be the cat's freaking pajamas, man. Ooh, ooh! Yep, they already are. So, left, center, right. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. You can have like a bunch of different things go into one like... <gasps> okay, yep, yeah, these are the cat's pajamas. This is the most amazing thing ever. Like, oh my goodness, these things are going to be essential for our factory. Then what's this about the geothermal generators? Eight supercomputers for these? Goodness gracious. 
and they can only be built on geysers. Well, I already know where those are. And so, yeah, that's pretty much just, like, free power for us then. Cool. I like the look of it. Sounds neat as well. Just really happy it's not near my base. And how much... Oh. Power does this make? Does produce power, check power pull instead. Okay. How much power are we making? So we're at 2950, now we're up about 400 power. So they make like 200 power each? Yeah, that's pretty good. Now the geysers are kind of far away though, so it's like, ah, okay. But if we ever do make some mini bases like out and around the world, these geysers are gonna be a godsend to get power there. Make things a lot more convenient. Oh, and speaking of mini bases, just to make the place a little bit more, I don't know, nice. I just made this little platform with a nice little shed on it, just to make it seem less random. Like, it'd just be really weird to see one of these things just randomly out in the woods, like, what are you doing here? But now it actually looks like some kind of proper base here. Anyway though, the power stuff, the splitters, all right and good. But we want the sauce, the secret sauce. The new alternate recipes, Ooh, these aren't new at all. Oh my god. We can make steel screws? <laughs> Brother, that would be amazing. But we're already producing like 3,000 screws. Well, I'm not going to be using my rubber in cable production. No way, sir. And I have enough screws, so... YOLO? We'll see what's up with the, the Nido Coal Arena. Wait, and what the heck is going on here? In the hub we unlock coal? And more coal! Oh my gosh! And compacted coal. What does this mean? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. There we go. It's like, what, what's the dealio? Can I put it in my car? Yeah. Does it make us go vroom vroom very fast? Not really. Pretty much the same here. Yeah, just went for a quick spin with it, and it's about as efficient as fuel, at least in the buggy here. Uh, but yeah, no, for real, it's pretty much useless, so goodbye! So hopefully we get something a little better this time. And what's this, more screws? Sure. Well, this is gonna be the last one for today, so hopefully it's something good. So what do we got? We got... You guys hear that tune? That's kind of creepy. <laughs> it's kind of like we won the lottery. Because this is what I wanted to see. An alternate recipe for the crystal oscillator. So it'll use rubber. Easily done. We have rubber for days. The crystals, of course. And then an AI limiter. So that could be a little spooky. But we need these AI limiters for the supercomputers anyway. So let's check this one out. And man oh man, there's gonna be a lot of changes coming to the base since we're going with this now. Because we also have that computer recipe, remember? So we're gonna need just an absolute insane amount of these. And we don't even have any quartz yet in the base! So I guess that's kind of step one then. Processing that. So, let's do a little scannerino. I know there's some like way up on the cliffs over there. And honestly, I really don't want to go for that source because it's a mess getting there. And then I think there's another source somewhere over this way. Like, I think this will show up on the map, right? Yeah. So there's a source there. And a source down there. Is that it? Oh no, there's one more way, 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 way up there. But that is way out of range. So I guess I'll check this one out. I'll check out the one over here again, just to see if I can find an easy way up. So yeah, I drove up to the original quartz spot here, and A, they're normal nodes, and B, it was a mess getting up here. Gotta drive through like two layers of gas, and there's the whole issue of getting back. So yeah, we're gonna be checking out the other source. And kind of like the big question with this other source is, I am really, really, really worried it's gonna be way up there. And it is not easy getting there. But let me tell you, it's about as hard as the other source. So, that's our coal area. If the other quartz node is actually kind of near the level I'm at, 
we're gonna be good. Oh, it is. It's absolutely perfect. It's like right over there. Wait a second, can I literally just drive down this road to go get it? It's not that easy, is it? Um, it's a little weird here. But, yeah? Where is the quartz? So I was just over there. The quartz is supposed to be here? There. Oh my god, it's gonna be in the cave! Okay, well, let's equip some weapons. Caves equal spiders, spiders equal bad time. Spiders equal explosives. Wait, where's the detonator? There we go. And the wacky stick. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely in this cave here. Okie dokie. Well, let's hope for a pure node. If not, we're in for a bad time. Okay, spider, where are you at? See that slug up there? Don't think I don't see you. Hello? Is there no spider? What? It's just an open cave. Okay. That's convenient. And then, is the source pure? Please be pure. Oh, quick save your timing. Oh my god, they are pure. Already, well, we're definitely using these. Yeah, once we toss a miner on there, throw in our power shards, that's gonna be 600 raw quartz per minute. So, yeah, these two nodes will definitely last us for the foreseeable future. Good, 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 good. Now I just have to hook them up to some truck stations and bring them back to base. But before we do that, I see a sneaky rock over here. So what do we have going on inside? Probably spiders. We're gonna kill some spiders. Yeah? How many though? Ooh. Oh, this is the big cave. This is a real big cave. Gun? Gun. Oh my sweet god. Oh my sweet god, I see the slug, but... There's the spider. Oh, that's a large laddie too. That is a large laddie too. What is this supposed to be? It's like some kind of boss arena? There is gas on the ground? Really? Well... Ride or die, I guess. But old Mr. Kibbs has a plan. Before we engage old Mr. Spiderino, we are going to throw... Like, 50 explosives there. <gasps> There's more. There's more. There's more! It's a little lad. Little lad, are we are we engaging? No, he's scooting. How many more are there? So there's the la the large guy. Okay, and then just like a billion little ones. Well, this trap's gonna be for the large one. Okay, so the trap is set, and I just made a little emergency platform in case everything goes wrong and things get a little too spooky. So let's find the big guy. Where's he at? Where am I at? I'm confused. Why does it sound like fire? What is that supposed to be? Is that just the spider? Is that the roof? The spiders can't be on the roof, right? That's a weird noise, man. What is that noise? It's freaking me out. There are spiders literally everywhere. This is the spider nest. Oh, it's you though. You know, someone in the comments said that whacking these guys with just the stick is pretty effective, so I might try this out. Oh my god! Why don't they want to fight? They like try and come near and then they just scoot. And more importantly, where's the big one? Where'd he go? It's like all the spiders are just hiding, man. I'm not a fan of this. <gasps> oh! Oh! Okay, you know what actually? The spiders seem to be more scared of me than I am of them, so we're just gonna rob them blind and leave. So, thank you, buddy. We are out of here. Oh, now they are all excited. Don't like me taking your slugs now, do ya? Now do ya! Hwa! We doing this? Nah, you're running. Then let's grab us slug number two. Slug number three. 
Now to get the purple one. Or is that a pink one? No, that's a purple one, right? Right. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 where did you come from? He was hiding the whole time. He was hiding the whole time. They're hiding the whole time. They planned this out. They planned this out. They got my hopes up. They got my hopes up. To the platform of explosives. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? How did he just like get there? Why are there so many spiders now? I set off a booby trap. Oh, there he is. Oh, we got him. That's right. That's right. Bang, bang. Oh, I'm the greatest spider fighter of all time. 300 IQ. And now what are you gonna do, spider? Now what are you gonna do, spider? I'm gonna take your slug. I'm gonna take your slug. Oh, wait a second though. You're falling for another trap. Oh, no, 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 no. Go to, go to the trap. Go to the trap. Go to the trap. Eh. Works out all the same. Give me the slug. And let's bounce out of this nightmare realm. And don't you think I forgot about you, purple homie. You're coming with me. Anyway, though, I got started a bit on the truck station here. And we're gonna be having two trucks because <laughs> 600 quarts per minute is pretty wild. Of course, we don't have uh, good enough belts to actually collect it all. So we're only gonna have 900 quarts coming back to base, but I think that'll do. That'll absolutely do. And then later on, of course, we can upgrade some mines and bring more back. But right now, I'm just trying to get everything together. So I've made this huge platform with the two stations. The trucks will just pull in and then pull back out onto this main road and go around this huge pillar and then exit through there. And that's pretty much our entrance and exit. So I added a little detail to the stop here. Cleared out the road. And just like that, we now have quartz in the base. 900 per minute, in fact. And if this is what we can do with 900 coal, just imagine how many computers we'll be able to make with 900 quartz. And we're gonna start all of that production line madness next time. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye